Good evening, folks. Thank you for joining us here on the Wildcats Network from Butler, Pennsylvania. It's the Wildcats hitting the road to play against the Golden Tornado. Tristan Borland here on the horn with the Inns for the rest of the evening. Richard Hillwig on the camera with us tonight as we get started for our St. Vincent College pregame show. St. Vincent College is a top-tier college, and folks, I'm telling you, folks over at St. Vincent are the best of the best. That's why our very own Richard Hillwig is a student there at St. Vincent College. See what St. Vincent College can do for you and your family. Check out stvincent.edu. Again, that's stvincent.edu. St. Vincent College, together we rise. And right now you see the Golden Tornadoes warming up. Ray Latrobe right there. You can see them as they get ready on their side of the bench. Wildcats last season uh, were able to go 15-3 uh, over the season. Finished number one in their section. And then went on to beat Highlands, or no, they beat uh, Hopewell at home. And then they went on uh, to play North Catholic. They dropped that game at Gateway. And then last week, Wildcats... Played against the Knights of Norwin at Norwin. They lost 3-1 to one in that game uh, to the Knights, and then they head on out here to Butler. But in that game, the Wildcats had a valiant fight. They lost 3-1 uh, to one again at Norwin. But there were multiple players in that game who were, uh, were big no's, one of them being uh, co-captain Sam Kiesel, the senior outside hitter, uh, who recorded eight kills in that game along with co-captain Eric Bizignani. Uh, he as well had eight kills in that game. Middle hitter Owen Ward for seven. Lou Flore for six. Jay Summer and Tyler Bauer collected one kill each. So scoring across the board for the Wildcats, it was definitely a team effort. Obviously, again, led by co-captains uh, Bizignani and Sam Kiesel. Uh, alongside that, Bizignani accounted for 18 assists and uh, Gabe Watson for 13 assists. Again, this is last week at Norwin. On the defensive end, you can thank uh, senior libero Jacob Elliott. He set the bar with five digs. Watson with four. Um, six additionally by Bizignay, Florian Ward. Bizignay with three. Florian with two. And Ward with one. Again, the Wildcats just doing their play. And again, that was the first game of the season, so maybe a little bit of shaking off the rust for the Wildcats as they get set for their 2024 season. Losing three to one. As I something that I, I noticed from that game was the fact that the Wildcats had a bit of a difficult time uh, shutting the door in their sets. Uh, Norwin was able to kind of hang in there. They played hard. They did a they did their best uh, to hold on against Norwin again a a big big school in the three A uh, conference. However, Wildcats being in two A, so keep that in mind. But again, the big note for the Wildcats is the fact that they played a, uh, a tough game through and through. And again, that for them this in this matchup this week, they ha are going to have to be able to slam the door in the sets if they want to close out and walk away from the Golden Tornadoes here in Butler with a win. It's a long drive back. It's an hour drive or an hour and a half drive back to Butler High School, an hour back to Murraysville for myself. So Wildcats don't want to take that hour and a half drive back. Um, with a loss. For the Golden Tornadoes, they too coming off of a loss. Uh, their loss was to Mars, uh, where they lost 3-2. to two. It was a real barn burner against the Fighting Planets uh, from Mars. And uh, coming into this matchup, Wildcats ranked number two in the two-way uh, coaches' polls. So a lot of high hopes for these Wildcats here this evening from Butler High School. So this is the point, folks, in our pregame show where we mention our St. or uh, not our St. Vincent College. This is the St. Vincent College pregame show. Bar Latrobe Auto Group, keys to the game. Latrobe Auto Group brought us the keys to our game. We'd love to bring you and your family the keys to your next ride, whether it happens to be a pickup truck, minivan, SUV. It doesn't matter what it is. They have it on their lot. If you can't make it to their location just off of Route 30 in Latrobe, you can check out their website at latrobeautogroup.com. Again, that's latrobeautogroup.com to check out their uh, selection in their inventory online. Thank you, Latro Auto Group, for allowing us to be able to bring in at home the keys to the game. The keys to the game for the Wildcats is that the Wildcats are going to need to get off to an early lead in these games and close out the sets. Wildcats, again, struggled so far this season 
in closing out the sets. And to close out the sets, you're going to need players like the ones down there. You see uh, that's Luke Flory, uh, Owen War. Those are your starters down there this evening, along with number 11. Again, that's senior Sam Kiesel, the outside hitter, who earned both all-section and all-state honors. And right there talking with Coach Volshevsky uh, about the setup for this game. The keys to the game for the Golden Tornadoes. So they want to get a win here this evening on their own home hardwood, defend their own home turf, is that they're going to need to close up and tighten up and their defense is really going to have to be on point to shut down hitters like Kiesel and like Bizignani. Again, those are both um, your co-captains, Bizignani, the junior, and again, Sam Kiesel, your senior. Uh, Golden Tornado is going to have to shut them down if they're going to want to walk out of here with a victory and turn around their favors. Again, both teams 0-1 looking for their first victory so far of the season. With that, folks, that will wrap up our St. Vincent College pregame show. We're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network and listen to some of and give a bit of a nod to some of the great sponsors here on the Wildcats Network that allow us to bring you these regular season games at no cost to you. When we come back, we're going to have your starting lineups in the first serve of the match this evening from Butler High School here on the Wildcats Network. everyone and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC Media Crew bringing you tonight's game. I know this preparing for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Ray Latrobe starts out the evening with a pin. From Power Airport and Latrobe live stream by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. I am the swiftest creature alive. I will make it. That's where we come in. A Collision Shop by Jason Mignon is your one-stop shop for all things auto body repair. Our experienced technicians and state-of-the-art facilities have you covered. Body repairs, refinishing, glass replacement, and more. Our friendly office staff is happy to assist you through every step of your vehicle's repair process. Visit the Collision Shop by Jason.com for our complete list of services. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance. Located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats! Valley Dairy Restaurants. You never had it so good. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, legendary ice cream. In Latrobe, the Valley Dairy Restaurant on Colony Lane. Go Wildcats! Welcome back, folks, here to the Wildcats Network, brought to you again by LHTC Media. Wildcats here at Butler High School getting ready to announce our starting lineup. And a reminder, folks, uh, a bit of a shout-out. Uh, for a lot of people who don't know, we sometimes forget that there are other sports that go on here at Greater Lake Trobe, not just the ones that we cover. So a shout-out to uh, the boys lacrosse team who are having their home opener tonight. Uh, you can catch that on the NFHSN. Again, that is not run by the Wildcats Network that is run by the NFHSN. You can pay uh, to watch that game at Radio La Trobe High School. But tonight we are here at Butler High School bringing you free um, boys volleyball here this evening at Butler High School. And again, a thank you to all of our sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. Without those sponsors in Radio La Trobe, we would not be able to bring you guys all the incredible action that we have here on the Wildcats Network for free. But I'm going to step aside for a second. We're going to hear... Uh, the fantastic starting lineups here brought to you by the uh, Butler, Pennsylvania, or the Butler High School. Uh, I believe it's the athletic director that's down there that's running the, the starting lineups for both teams. A reminder, it's a little early, but our next broadcast here on the Wildcast Network is going to be on Tuesday, March 26th. We're going to have boys volleyball uh, at home against West, West Shemokin. So make sure you are tuned in for that game that we will have again at Gray Latrobe High School. Side for the national anthem.
And again, folks, those are your stars for tonight. And again, thank you to the athletic directors here at Butler High School for bringing us those starting lineups. Again, a reminder from our St. Vincent College pregame show, we just had a minute ago, the Wildcats are going to need to get out to an early lead and slam the door shut on the Golden Tornado. They want to walk away here with a victory of our first victory of the 2024 season. Again, Wildcats, you see over there huddling up, getting ready. Uh, head coach, uh, Drew Fulshevsky, a uh, long-tenured coach here at Gray Latrobe, not only teaching the boys, or not only the head coach of the boys' volleyball team, but also the head coach of the girls' volleyball team. So, Wildcats are in good hands as we get started here tonight. Again, your starters for the Wildcats hang out there. Again, the highlight is number 11, Mr. Sam Kiesel. Again, a senior here winning multiple uh, awards, first team all section and first team all state nods from his contributions last season. And also, for those who don't know, Sam Keys is also a very talented soccer player as well. We had him on the Wildcats Network a couple times for our soc boys' soccer broadcasts. And they had quite the season, the boys' uh, varsity soccer team, really turning things around. Back to serve is Gabe Watson, the sophomore Back to serve here as we get started in the first period of play, folks. I know that there's a three down the bottom right. Um, that is not correct. Sorry, there uh, bumped the uh, bumped the button there a little bit. Wildcats are able to score, and that ball out of bounds points to Butler. Now tied up here at two, or now at two and one. The Golden Tornado able to score there. Now back to serve for Butler. That is number eleven. That's Ryan Chapla, the defensive specialist for Butler. Back pop up. Kiesel, and it's blocked there by Butler. Golden Tornado is now up 3-1. to one. Again, here in the first set at Butler High School. Chapla back to serve. Kiesel. Hard spike, and it just drops in right there. Good move by Bizignani. Well, again, last week in the game against Norwin had eight kills for the Wildcats. We're trying to claw back into this one. Now it's 2-3. Serve over, dug up well by Chapla. Hard spike and gets by Grayer Latrobe. Another point to Butler. Butler looking to rebound again from their 3-2 loss to Mars last week. That ball sent over, dug up, and out of bounds. Owen Ward had the right idea. However, just got by him. Butler up 5-2 to two here in the first set of tonight's match. Service right into the net. On the serve there uh, was number 13. For Butler, that's Alec Teff. Back to serve for Gray Trove. That's Bizignani. The co-captain alongside... Uh, Alongside Sam Kiesel. With the score, 5-3. to three. The serve is up by Bizignani. Dug up well. Had to get all underneath that one was Chapla, the libero. Bizignani to Sam Kiesel, who drops it in. Good position there by Kiesel. Ray Latrobe trying to claw back. It's 4-5. As Bizignani to serve again. This is his third serve right here. Zignani, dug up by Butler. They have to send it over. Ward to Kiesel, who comes up, sends that ball over. Played by Butler. Kept alive, dump off. And that's going to be a point to Butler for a two-hand touch there. It's a two-point lead. Back to serve for Butler. Butler. 
And the serve is over. Dug up. Good block there by the Great Wall. And Butler will just have to dump it away. Zignani, fake out, and not able to get a handle on it was Jay Sumner, the middle blocker for the Wildcats. That's Mason Anderson who serve, and that serve is right into the net. Point Grayley Trobe, still a two-point game here in the first, uh, first set of this evening's match. Back to serve is again the co-captain and senior Sam Kiesel. Part of that winning team from last year. It went 15 and three on the season, end of the season, and number two in the coaches poll. And then the Wildcats come in as the number two in the coaches poll again this year. That ball went out of bounds off of a dig by Flory. Now back to serve for Butler is Peter Zulik. Pop up. Zignani, hard spike. A good spike there by Tyler Bauer, and that ball gets away. Trying to dig underneath it was Eric Bizignani, but that ball was deep in the ground there. So Butler back to serve again. Zulik. Butler with a four-point lead here in the first set of play. Bizignani. Hard spike right into the net. That's another point for Butler. The rust here being showed by the Wildcats. And a timeout is taken by Coach V, who will have a word with his boys. And while he does that, we're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to continue the action here on the Wildcats Network. Back here on the Wildcats now. Tristan Borland here on the horn with the ends. Richard Hewig on the camera. Baller up by five here in the first set of play. Again, folks, ignore the clock in the bottom right. Uh, it is not correct um, for our scoreboard. Again, we are in the first set where the Golden Tornadoes are up 10 to five here over Gray Latro. Some miscommunications there, which is why Coach V had to take the timeout. And the Wildcats. I, if I remember from last year, they definitely play way, way better than this. It's just some miscommunication. Again, second game of the season. That ball, the spike there went right off the chest of Bizik Nanny. He didn't know what hit him. That was an absolute missile off of Slottenhop, the junior. And his serve is over. Bizik Nanny, hard spike. And that's a point to the Wildcats. They say it went off the fingertips. Trying to see. That was uh, Cole Wajner who had that ball go off of his fingertips. And back to serve is Jacob Elliott, whose ball is over. Dug up. Pop up. Spike, which went off of Bizignani again, getting picked on there on the near side of the hardwood. Substitutions now coming on for the Gordon Tornadoes. That is Miller. Uh, Welter. That ball sent over. And Tep that came on, my apologies. Saved by Bizik Nanny, but Sam Kiesel can't corral it. And that's another point to Butler. Now up 13 to 6 here. 12 points away from walking away with set number one this evening. That ball sent over, dug up. Bizik Nanny, hard spike off of the blockers. Good play there by Owen Ward. The junior for the Wildcats. Now back to serve again is Gabe Watson, the sophomore. Watson sends that over. He played a big part in the 3-1 loss 
against Norway. And Bizignani able to get a hand on it, but it went out of bounds. More substitutions coming on for the Golden Tornado. That is number 12. That's uh, Mason Anderson, who came, came back on the outside hitter for the Golden Tornado. That ball sent over by the boys in blue from Butler. Pop up. Light touch there. Bizignani gets underneath it, and now Sam Kiesel will send it over. Trying to swing that over on the hook was Bizignani. That ball popped up out of bounds, and that point's going to go to Butler. They're going to say that it was in bounds. Flory was there, but the ball dropped in front of him. Welter for Butler to serve. 15-7 here in the first set of play. Dug up by Kiesel. Hard spike. Good block by Ben Miller. Comes on off the bench. Welter to serve again. 16-7 Wildcats in a nine-point hole here in the first set of play. That ball dug up. Chapla was able to dig it up, but couldn't get it over. That will be Wildcat point. Now have a chance to rally here down by eight. The serve is the soft is the junior outside hitter. Pop up. Light touch over, able to be played by Latrobe. Free to respond is Kiesel. And that ball will go out of bounds. Point Wildcats trying to dig back into this one. Seven point game here in the first set of the match this evening. Set up. Spike. Out of bounds, smart move there by Jacob Elliott, the junior libero. I know Elliott's the senior libero, my apologies. For just letting that ball go by him. He was there to make a play, but again, he understood the angle and the trajectory of that spike. Pop up. Hard spike, good block by Kiesel up front. Another good block there. That time, the middleman, Sumner. That's not saving. That's Owen Ward in the middle, the uh, middle blocker there. Pop up. That ball sent over by Bizignani. Kiesel. Pop up. Bizignani to spike. Good volley here between these two teams. Hard spike there. Dug up somehow. Kept alive. And out of ways. Not sure how Owen Ward got the top of his hand underneath that ball, but he did. And he was able to keep it in bounds. Butler to serve. Hard spike, kicked up, and it went out of bounds. Just over top of Bizignani's head. Butler, 18-10, trying to stretch that lead back out. They had it at 9 at one point. Now at 8 here in the first set of tonight's matchup. Dig, pop up, hard spike. And that will be a point to Butler. Now back to the widest lead that we've had here this evening. Back to serve for Butler. Again, is number 11, Riley Chapla, the defensive uh, specialist senior. His serve goes right into the net. And substitutions coming on now for the Wildcats. That is number nine, Jay Sumner, coming in for the libero, uh, Jacob Elliott. And the serve there by Owen Ward goes out of bounds. So Butler now up to 20. They need five here to walk away with a win here. Wildcats down by nine here in the first set of tonight's matchup. That ball is sent over by Teff, and it will be an ace. Dropping right in front of Ward. Teff to serve again. And his serve goes right into the net. Too low. Substitutions now. That's Tyler Bauer who comes on now for Gabe Watson. 
back to serve is Eric Bizignani, the co-captain with Sam Kiesel, who's back to serve. Wildcats down by nine here. Sends that ball over. Great serve. Had to be corralled. Light touch dug up by Bizignani. Kiesel, light touch. Somehow, no, I thought Butler was able to get the save, but they could not. And so Wildcats trying to get back into this one. They're down by eight here. Sent over. Dug up somehow and kept alive. Great play by the Golden Tornado. Spike. And they're going to give that to the Wildcats. They say it curved out of bounds. Relay Trobe clawing back into this one, down by seven. Wildcats have some fight in them tonight. There's no doubt about that. Bizzik Nanny sent that one back to Westmoreland County. And so the Golden Tornado, three points away from taking set number one here at home. Send that ball over. Pop up. Spike block. Another one. Another block. Swung in and out of bounds. The blocker standing strong there for Butler. And they are now two points away from taking set number one back to serve. It is Mason Anderson. His serve goes right into the net. So the senior captain. Sam Kiesel goes back to serve. Wildcats will need to have an eight-point rally right here, right now, if they want to get back into this first set. Hard spike, shot right into the lap of Owen War, but he couldn't get the positioning to dig it up. Butler now needs one more point to walk away with set number one in their pocket. Send that ball over. Bizzik Nanny, hard spike there. The aggression from junior Jay Sumner. He will not be denied. And he'll be tagged out coming in as Jacob Elliott, the senior libero who will go back to serve here. Yeah, wild Wildcats trail by eight. Pop up. Hard spike, a good block there by Flory. And miscommunication there will allow Butler to walk away with set number one here from Butler High School. We're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're going to have set number two here on the Wildcats Network. I think we can agree it's been a crazy year for everyone. And we here at Latro Auto Group want you to know that we're in this together and we're here for you. Hi everyone, I'm Wendy Hyrak and I'm the finance manager here at the dealership. During the past year, we've all seen some pretty crazy things. Maybe your credit's been affected by some of those things. You should know that no matter what your credit situation is, great credit, good credit, bad credit, or no credit, Latrobe Auto Group wants to be your dealer and we specialize in credit challenges. Our credit team is just waiting to put you in a new car or truck that will start building your credit today and get you moving in the right direction. No matter what you've heard, our lot is stocked with new, pre-owned, and certified pre-owned cars and trucks. Vehicles that not only fall in line with the bank's parameters, but your budget. So whatever's been holding you back, put it aside, come on in, and together we can make it happen. I'm proud to work with an organization that known across the state that's reputable. Adelphi is a place to have ample opportunities for promotion. There's nothing uh, that Adelphi won't do for you personally and professionally. Come on in. Hi, I'm Chris Beddick, agent for State Farm Insurance located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Beddick is there. Go Wildcats. Thanks, Chris. Folks, Chris Beddick, 
Your lo local State Farm agent in Latrobe, Pennsylvania can bring you and your family all the coverage that you could possibly need for whatever life throws at you. Check out Chris's location in Latrobe. And also a reminder that for our first baseball game uh, next Thursday, uh, where the boys' baseball team will be taking on uh, Hempfield in the Route 30 rivalry. Make sure you tune in with us and Chris uh, at Graham's Boda Field here on the Wildcats Network. Our starting pitch is scheduled for four, if I remember correctly. Wildcats dropping set number one here at Butler to the Golden Tornado, who walk away again with set number one in their pocket. We are now moving in to set number two. And we're off. And that ball will drop right in front. There we go. Get a little bit of the scoreboard in there for you at home. Butler takes point number one here in set number two. Wildcats to respond. Drop in somehow. Dug up. Great defensive play there for the Golden Tornado. Hard spike there right in front of the net. Butler to respond, pop up. Can they send it over? Sam Kiesel with the one-handed uh, backspin there to respond. Butler, block off the head, kept alive. Greater Lake Trobe gets the point there, the reach over for Butler. Somehow Wildcats walk away with points there. It's now 1-1 here. Indians can see on the bottom right hand of your screen, Golden Tornado lead one to nothing. Now back to serve for the Wildcats, that's Gabe Watson. And his serve just barely out. Butler now take a 2-1 lead here in set number two. Both teams are just joining us here right now in the Wildcats. And we're better late than never. Tristan Boylan here on the horn with the Indians for the rest of the evening. Richard Hillwig. The one and only on the cam with us this evening. Pop up. Hard spike. And that will be a point, Greer Lake Trobe, as it went off the, uh, the hands of Slottenhop, the outside hitter, the freshman, or no, the sophomore for Butler. Again, right off his fingertips, that ball was sent into his face like a missile. Fiore to serve. His serve goes out of bounds. Point Butler, again, who will retake their one-point lead. This a little bit more remembrant of the game between uh, Gray Latrobe and Norwin between both uh, sets. It was a, a tightly contested match. No team had more than a five-point lead in that game. That ball sent over. Pop up by Butler. Hard spike blocked away. No communication. Hard spike by Sam Kiesel, and he is fired up. Communication by Latrobe needs to get a little bit cleaner. That is what made them struggle in the last set here at Butler, Pennsylvania. Back to serve and sending it over is Owen Ward. Pop up. Hard spike. And they'll say that that went out of bounds. Point Gray or Latrobe, who now take... A one-point lead here. Hard spike dug up. A hard serve dug up. Kiesel. Physic Nanny. And that will be a point, Gray L.A. Trobe. Serve over. And that goes right to the net. I thought that there was a net violation there. Point Greer Latro. Who will extend their lead even further. And a timeout is taken by Butler as they drop three in a row as Greer Latro will extend. With that, we're going to take a quick timeout here on the Wildcats. Now we're going to hear from some of our great sponsors here on the Wildcats Network that allow Yins at home to watch this game completely for free. When we come back, we're going to continue set number two. Coming up next, nope, oh, I lied, folks. Uh, Butler heard that we were going to take a break to thank one of our sponsors, and they said no. We're going to pull a fast one on you. 
All, I appreciate coaches that like to keep us on our toes here. You know, you want to make sure that every game uh, you got to be a little sharp. You got to be paying attention. You can't just go to a break whenever you feel like it. The serve by Latro. Butler had responded. Now Bizik Nanny has sent the ball over into Butler territory. Loft over Kiesel. Bizik Nanny. Kiesel to spike it. Block by Butler. Hard spike to respond. Light touch. Bizik Nanny. Hard spike by Kiesel, and that's a point to Latrobe. Net violation, Butler. Wildcats take a four-point lead here in set number two. That ball sent over. And unable to get it as it drives underneath. That's a point for the Wildcats. Ward to serve again. Wildcats, five-point lead here in set number two. Hard spike. Getting a hand on it was Ward, but that was a heat-seeking missile. Substitutions coming on now for Butler. Hopping on to the hardwood for the Golden Tornado is Alec Teff. Back to serve for the Golden Tornado is Mason McCall. And he sends that ball over. Hard spike. What a leap there by Jay Sumner to get over top of that ball and send it in at the right angle. Tyler Bauer coming in now, trying to give Gabe Wapson a bit of a rest here. Back to serve is the junior co-captain, Eric Bizignani. Pop-up. Hard spike. Or not a spike, that was an awkward angle there. Kiesel, spike, blocked away, and out of bounds. Point Butler. As they try to get back into this one. Find that lead down to four here in the second set. That ball gets sent over. Popped up immediately by Fiore. Dug up by Fiore, Bizignani. Owen Ward sends that ball off past the field of play. And they're going to give that to the Wildcats. They're going to say that there was a touch by Butler. Colton Welter, the outside hitter, will be charged with the touch. And Wildcats now have double digits here in set number two. Kiesel somehow getting that, sending it over is Bauer and Butler to respond. Kiesel, Bizignani, hard spike dug up again. It went off a beam. Butler needs to get it over. And Bizignani can't dig it up. Point, Golden Tornado. Back to serve for Butler is the libero. That's Maddox McCall. Bizignani pop up, hard spike, dug up, and out of bounds. Point Wildcats. It's now back to a five-point lead here for the Wildcats. And substitutions coming in now. Hopping off is Jay Sumner. Back to serve is the libero. That's Jacob Elliott, the senior. Pop up. Hard spike, no touch, out of bounds, point, Wildcats. Elliott to serve again. They have now up six points over the Golden Tornado. And the second serve by Jacob Elliott will go off the net. It was too low. Now Butler to respond. Teff. His serve out of bounds point, Grayer Latrobe. Gabe Watson coming on now for the Wildcats. Hopping off the hardwood is Tyler Bauer, the junior. The sophomore, Gabe Watson, is back to serve. He sends that ball over. Set up. Pushing that ball over right into the center of the hardwood. Nobody there to dig it out. Point Butler. 
It's now five point deficit for the Gordon Tornado. Back to serve is Mason Anderson. Pop up, hard spike, blocked away. Saying that ball over. Pop up, hard spike, kept alive. Punching that ball over and out of bounds. Point Wildcats. Butler all lit up. Some frustration out of some of the seniors, one of them being Colton Welter. And I don't blame them taking set number one again. They want to win their home opener here. Both, te both of these teams are 0-1 so far on the season. And that ball out of bounds, Point Butler. They're going to say that that went off the hand of Owen Ward. So the Golden Tornado to serve again. Zulik is back to serve. He sends that ball over. Pop up. Hard spike. And that's a point to the Wildcats. Six point game. Sent over, dug up. Good roll there by Butler to try to keep that ball in play. Hard spike just off the chest of Fiore. And that's a point for the Golden Tornado. Cut the lead down to five. Back to serve is McCall for the Golden Tornado. Send that ball over. Kiesel, hard spike. Don't know how Butler kept alive, and that's out of bounds. Six point lead still here for the Wildcats here. Busy Nanny back to server. A reminder, folks, if you are enjoying our broadcast here from Butler, I know I am crawling back to. Uh, Relatively close to my neck of the woods out here. And that ball means point Wildcats. Butler can't corral it. But again, if you are enjoying our non-conference game here at Butler, we're going to be back at Ray Latrobe on Tuesday for the home opener for the Wildcats. Volleyball team, boys volleyball here. As they play West Shemokin, and again, we'll have that here on the Wildcats network. Just a little reminder for you, Ince. Good dump off there by Bizzik Nanny. Hard spike, and that will stay in bounds. Colton Welter, the outside hitter. Getting a point there for Butler, trying to hold on and crawl back here. Welter back to serve. Bizzik Nanny sets up. What a shot there! Jay Sumner. Got the hop, got over top of the ball, and sent that into the stratosphere. Set up. Hard spike. Putting a hand on it was Owen Ward. But the Wildcats weren't able to send it back to Butler's side of the net. So point to the Golden Tornado, and back to serve is the libero Maddox McCall. Kiesel, Bizzik Nanny. And that's a point there for Greater Lake Trobe. Fiore able to get the hops there and able to get a good angle. Tag in. Sumner comes out. Chica Belli at the libero coming in, and he is now back to serve. Wildcats with a seven-point lead here, looking to make it 20 points here in the second set of this match. Point Butler. Over the line was Jacob Ellie. He was called over the serving line. Now back to serve for Butler. That's Teff. And his serve is an ace. Just able to get it up over the top of the net. Now 
That serve by Teff again, played. Hard spike by Fiore, it gets by Kiso. Baller trying to roar back into this one. They make it a four point game here in set number two. Bobbling around in the Raptors. Poke over, just barely touched by McCall. Tyler Bauer. It's a point there for the Wildcats, but he'll be tagged out coming in as Gabe Watson. Butler making substitutions as well. Hoppy on the hardwood is Andrew Slottenhop. Along with uh, it's Wadner. Timeout taken by Butler. We're going to take a timeout as well here on the Wildcats. Network. We are actually taking a timeout to thank some of our fantastic sponsors that allow us to bring you these games for free. We'll be right back on the Wildcats Network with a continuation of set number two coming up next. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website at HotelRoyalPizza.com or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! We're back here on the Wildcats Network. Sorry for the bit of delay coming back from the ad, but I saw somebody as one of our viewers here on Facebook, and I want to give a quick shout-out. Uh, to an alumni from Greater Lake Trobe, uh, Tyler Bauer, or not Tyler Bauer, that's Tyler Nelson, Tyler Bauer out on the hardwood. That got a grin out of Richard. So, Mr. Nelson, it's great to have you here watching. I hope we're able to bring you uh, some great boys volleyball here from Butler High School. Tyler Nelson, one of the many uh, Wildcat alumni that went on to play at St. Vincent College, who was one of our sponsors here in the Wildcats Network, and also the, uh, the place where Richard decided to continue his academic career. That doesn't tell you that Butler is a top-notch, or not Butler, that uh, St. Vincent College is a top-notch school. I don't know what will, but Butler as well, another top-notch school here in the whip you'll play. And that's a point Butler. Last touch was Bizzik Nanny. So now back to serve for the Golden Tornado is number 12. That's Mason Anderson. He sends it over. Pop up. Hard spike. Wildcats to respond. Bizik Nanny, a little bit too much sauce on it, and sends it out the back of the field of play. So Butler will get that point there. Now two points away from the Wildcats. Touch out of bounds again. It's now a one point game here at set number two. We mentioned our late trobe auto keys to the game. The Wildcats have had a tough time slamming the door. On teams. And let's see if they can close out here. That ball just getting underneath Sam Kiesel. He can't dig it up. We're now all tied up at 20 here. Can Butler take a lead? Hard spike. And that's a point for the Wildcats. Fiore was able to get that one bobbling around. That looked like a pinball machine on the Butler side. So Wildcats will retain, will retake the lead by one point, four points away from taking set number two here this evening. Dug up by McCall, pop up, dumping it off. And out of bounds, point Butler, we're all tied up again. Back to serve for Butler. That's Peter Zulik, the junior middle blocker. Pop up. Hard spike. And they'll say it's out of bounds. Butler takes a one point lead here at set number two. And they could take set number two here. Wildcats to respond after the serve. Hard spike. Good shot there. Textbook play by Owen Ward. And coming on for Elliott 
The libero is Jay, Jay Sumner. Back to serve is Owen Ward, and he'll get an ace there. Butler call it out, but it will drop in. So the ace there, Wildcats take a one-point lead. Need two here to walk away with a win. In set number two, light touch over, and Butler will tie it up. Fiore wasn't able to get back to recover. Substitutions coming on for Butler. That's Mason McCall who goes back to serve. Sladenhop came out for McCall. Hook there by Sam Kiesel. Hard spike and it gets by the great wall of Greater Latrobe. Butler needs one more point to walk away with a win here in their home opener. But Coach V will take another timeout, hoping to talk with his team. As Coach V will talk with his players, we're going to take a moment to thank some of our fantastic sponsors here on the Wildcats Network. We'll be right back with what I imagine will be the conclusion of set number two here from Butler High School. We're back here at Butler High School. And a big thank you to St. Vincent College, who is our pregame sponsor here on the Wildcats Network and also the home of multiple Cat alumni. That shot there by Sam Kiesel. Wildcats tie it up. And set number two, just when I thought I couldn't get any more interesting, just got a whole lot more interesting. Back to service, Eric Bizignani. His serve goes right into the net. Point Butler. Butler needs one more point to walk away with set number two in their back pocket. Hard spike by Kiesel. Sent over. Play by Bizignani. Ward. To Bauer, who pops it over, but Butler to corral it. Dump it off. Ward, Bizignani to Tyler Bauer again. McCall to dig it back up. Hard spike. Butler wins set number two. They roar back after being down by seven. And Wildcats will now have to recover and try to win set number three. We have... A real barn burner here at Butler High School. We're going to take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network to hear from some of our other fantastic sponsors. We'll be right back with the set number three here from Butler High School. Welcome to Ligonier Valley Learning Center Incorporated, where little hands do big things. For 38 years, Latro Kinder School has provided a continuum of quality services which promotes the emotional, behavioral, educational, and physical development of children. We've used a research-based curriculum that will help your child grow academically and socially. Guidance from our expert teachers, combined with our state-of-the-art play areas, will build your child's brains and bodies. Latrobe Kinder School provides high-quality pre-K education for three- and four-year-old children at no cost to qualifying families through the pre-K counts. Our enrollment is always open. Visit our website, LiganairValleyLearningCenter.com, to apply today. Hey Gabby, catch this. Win with Bardini's. We're number one for meats in Westmoreland. So many delicious varieties and flavors. Best meats, best meals. So come in, fill this basket at our country smokehouse in Crabtree. Go Wildcats! Hi, I'm Chris Beddick. 
agent for State Farm Insurance, located conveniently on Route 981 here in Latrobe. We proudly offer auto, home, renters, life, and small business insurance since 2001. Need a good neighbor? Chris Bedick is there. Go Wildcats! Thanks, Chris. As always, Chris Bedick, your local State Farm agent in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Wildcats drop 2-0 to the Golden Tornadoes. They need to win the next three. They need to have a reverse sweep. And they're going to want to walk away with Butler High School with a victory. Already down 0-1 in the season after losing to Norwin. And Butler would love to start, well, I guess the second game of their season. This, would be, this is their home opener tonight after Butler lost on the road to Mars. So Wildcats, again, we mentioned in our St. Vincent College pregame show for our Latrobe Auto Keys of the game that the Wildcats need to make sure that they finish out sets. They've had a tough time, and the last set was an example. You can see on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, 24-26. At one point, they had a seven-point lead. But again, it, Wildcats just couldn't quite shut the door and maintain control so can they do it here again they would need to win three straight to walk away with a win but that's not going to help as Colton Welter uh, sent that ball right into the great wall of Greer Lake Trobe and was able to score there Butler takes a one nothing lead here to start out set number three pop up hard spike blocked away Kiso able to keep it alive Bizik Nanny shot and almost made its way up to here in the crow's nest at Butler So Wildcats will tie here at 1-1. That ball shot. Was sent over by Fiore. Pop up. And they're going to give that to Butler there on a double touch by Fiore. And it, the serve there will go right into the net. That was McCall who sent that ball careening into the net. Oh, no, that was Chapla. My apologies. Chapla was the one who set it into the net. Sent over, dug up, pop up, hard spike right in the face of Eric Bizignani. Butler, it's now 3-2 here. Teff sends that ball over right into the face of Bizignani again. And Butler now takes a two-point lead here. Again, winning set number three means that Butler wins their home opener and will head into next week one and one. Wildcats, I'm sure, would prefer to go into their home opener one and one to play the Wolves of West Shemokin, one of the top teams out in the Heritage Conference in Division Six. Dug up, set up. That ball sent over by Al, uh, Sam Kiesel. I almost said Brett Kiesel. Sure, uh, the, the folks at home appreciate that one. That ball goes out of bounds. Point Butler. Who now have a three-point lead over the Wildcats. Dug up by Bizignani. Pop up. Hard spike. And that's a point there. Jay Sumner once again gets the elevation over top of the ball and sends that ball careening down into the hardwood. Tyler Bauer comes on now. Coming off the hardwood is Gabe Watson, the sophomore. Back to serve is co-captain Junior Bizignani. Sends that ball dug up. Played up. Tip off and off. Just got by Tyler Bauer. He was off on the timing, and he also got a hand on the net. So Butler now starting to pull away a little bit. Three-point lead here. Bauer hits that, has to respond. Owen. Butler. Hard spike just gets by. Owen Ward.
Colton Welter, the senior outside here, was the one that sent that careening into the heart of the Wildcats. Bizignani pops that up. Hard spike by Kiesel, and that will go Butler. Kiesel sent out of bounds. He will not say that it went off the fingertips of Andrew Sloddenhop, the sophomore outside hitter for Butler. Bizignani. Owen Ward, it pops off. Bizignani is able to play it and sent over by Bauer. Dump off. Fiore got an arm on it. Butler really starting to pull away now. Six point lead here. And again, Butler would love to walk away winning their home opener against the Wildcats after losing to Mars last week. Hard spike. And out of bounds. No, let's say it's inbounds. Point Butler. Who are now up by seven over the Wildcats here in set number three. Wildcats need to get a run right now. Hard spike there. Good play by Jay Sumner. That is the third time we've seen that happen today where Sumner, Sumner gets the verticality. And Jacob Elliott will now come on to the hardwood, topping off his Owen Ward. Back to serve is the senior, Sam Kiesel. Butler, miscommunication there, unable to go up and get it. Hanging his head low is Peter Zulik. Kiesel to respond. Five-point game here. And the spike there... Goes out of bounds. And Slonhoff thought it went off one of the Wildcats, but he will not. He pleads his case, but does not get it. So Wildcats now down by four. Kiesel dug up by McCall. Hard spike. It goes off the forearm of Sumner. And that's a point there. The hard strikes there by Welter, the senior outside hitter. And Welter will jump off the hardwood, coming on for him. That is number 14, that's Ben Miller. That spike! The Verocity by Fiore. And now back to serve is Jacob Elliott, the senior libero. Wildcats trail by four. Dump off, still in bounds. Miller. More substitutions coming on for Butler. One of those substitutions going back to serve is number 15, Mason McCall. Pop up, hard spike, good point there by Fiore. Wildcats. Make it a four point game again, back to serve. Is Gabe Watson. Pop up, hard spike, dug up somehow. Light touch gets by them. Elliott was able to dig up the first play, but a light touch, nobody there to back him up. And now back to serve is the senior, Colton Welter. Butler maintains their five-point lead. Played by Elliott. Sent over by Fiore, able to get a finger on it as Butler. Hard spike, played by Kiesel. Butler, now up by six. With a two nothing set lead here, this set will decide whether or not the Wildcats take that hour and a half drive back to Latrobe in silence. Saying that ball over, no, sends it right into the net was Welter. Wildcats now down by five. Need to get a run going here. Back to serve 
is Luke Fiore. The junior outside hitter. Butler sends it over lightly. Wildcats to res respond. Bizzik Nanny, his spike is bobbled by Miller. Wildcats now down by four. Pop up. Spike played. And a good dump off there. Right off the top of the, the net, the net, Alex Teff. Now response by Butler. Bizzik Nanny, his ball. On it, we dug up, dug up by Welter. And now Owen Ward will go back to serve. Well turn to dig up the serve. Hard spike just off the front of Fiore. And that's another point for Butler, who now hold on to a five-point lead here. And are nine away from being one and one on the season. Wildcats to respond. Sam Kiesel not ready to go home yet. Substitution for Gabe Watson. It's Tyler Bauer, the junior outside hitter, coming on. So now up front, your blockers are Bauer, Sumner, and I believe that's Fior or no, that's Sam Kiesel here on the near side. And now Bizignay back to serve. And out of bounds. Goes a serve by Bizic Nanny. Butler holds on to a five point lead still. Pop up. That ball sent over, dug up. And that's a point to the Wildcats. Too many touches for Butler. So Kiesel goes back. It's still a four-point game, bouncing back between four and five points here. Wildcats need to close the gap. Touch there by Tyler Bauer. Butler bobbling it, but able to get it over. Bizignani, hard spike by Sumner, kicked up and played. And Kiesel lets it go. Butler is flabbergasted. They're not sure why the kick was allowed. Kiesel sends the ball over. It's a three-point game here. It's set number three. Hard spike gets by Kiesel, and they're going to give that one to Butler. It's now 14-18. Zulik is back to serve for Butler. Pop up, hard spike, and the block there by Butler. Not able to get over top of it was Jay Sumner, who's had the hops all day. Back to the five-point lead goes Butler here in set number three. Timeout taken by Coach uh, Drew Oshevsky and a timeout as well here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we may have the conclusion of this matchup. We'll be right back after these short messages from all our incredible sponsors. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Wildcat Den. LHTC media crew bringing you tonight's game. Or notice the parent for a good team like this isn't easy, but this is our style of basketball. Ray Latrone starts out evening with a pin. From Power Airport in Latrobe, live streamed by LHTC Media. You've been watching the Wildcat Network on LHTC Media. Hey, Gabby, catch this. Win with Bardini's. We're number one for meats in Westmoreland. So many delicious varieties and flavors. Best meats, best meals. So come in, fill this basket at our country smokehouse and crab tree. 
Go Wildcats! Sorry, Gabby and Gary. Our apologies to the Bardini's Country Smokehouse for having to dump out of that ad a little early. We are back to action. Butler calling for a touch net there, but they will not get it. Light touch over, kept alive by Tyler Bauer. Busick Nanny with the backspin. Hard spike block. And they're going to give that one to Grayley Trobe. A little bit of a disagreement by the referees. Did the ball go off of Gray Latrobe and bounce underneath the net? Richard is. They're wondering if there is a net violation. That's what that, that's what Richard's telling me. They're going to give the point to Butler. So now it's a five-point game or Butler five points away from taking set number three. It's a six point game here in set number three. Sorry folks, a little rusty. It's been almost a year since we've called uh, boys volleyball here from the Wildcats Network. Able to earn the point there is Fiore. He is not ready to go home. Back to five point lead here for Butler. Coming on to the hardwood now is Owen Ward. Elliott sends that ball over, pop up, hard spike, and it gets by the Wildcats. Another point for Butler, four more, and Butler will win their 2024 home opener. Can the Wildcats respond? That ball popping off the net, Bizic Nanny. Bauer leaves it up. Saying that ball over, and it goes out the, or no, it's going to be inbounds. And uh, a discussion between Butler, their line judge said that the Wildcats touched the net again. Oh, they're going to say that it was out of bounds off the pole. They are still going to give the point to Butler, though. So Butler now three points away from walking away with their 2024 home opener victory. Spike kept up in play by Butler. Pop up, set up. Fiore, he sends it in, and the blockers can't block that one. Wildcats still in it, six point game. Substitutions coming on now for the Wildcats. Going back to serve is Gabe Watson who just hopped on in place of Tyler Bauer. Sending that up, pop up, hard spike, kept alive. And a big one there, who did it go off? They're going to say it's a point to the Wildcats because it went out of bounds without touching any Wildcats. Five-point game here. Butler still needs three. Back to serve is Gabe Watson. Wildcats need to score five to tie it up here. Wildcats really need to force an extra set. Hard spike gets by. Gabe Watson, who just came off the bench. And the Golden Tornado are two away from their first victory of 2024. Fiore, his ball is played by Butler. And the miscommunication between Sam Kiesel and Jacob Elliott. Butler is now one point away from their first victory of 2024. And they will have to wait that serve right into the net. Wildcats will need to go on a six point rally to tie it up and fend off going home. Played. Touch up. 
Kept alive, hard spike, Butler, Teff, and they send the Wildcats home. Richard says that there is a reach over, and so that will keep the Wildcats alive. Butler to try again. Bizignani, Kiesel. Kiesel gets it by Welter. Wildcats make it four points. Luke Fiore to serve for a third time. Wildcats saved by a net violation. That ball out of bounds. Wildcats will stay alive. Three point game. A timeout taken by Butler to try to recover. Wildcats trying to rally. We're gonna keep it here. Uh, on the Wildcats Network, but we do thank all of our sponsors, folks. We remind you at home that our sponsors here on the Wildcats Network allow us to bring you all of this action completely free, at least for the regular season games. Uh, certain things that the Whitfield does, you know, we're, we're kind of bound to and we're, we're glad to obligate from it. Um, but the Wildcats, uh, the sponsors here on the Wildcats Network will allow us to bring you all this action for free. So thank you to our sponsors on the Wildcats Network. Butler took the timeout to try to shake the Wildcats. Hard spike, and that will do it. Butler gets their first victory of 2024. We're gonna take a quick break here on the Wildcats Network. When we come back, we're gonna have our Eaton Park uh, post-game show. Coming up next on the Wildcats Network. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood to stop at Hotel Loyal Pizza in the heart of downtown Lake Trobe on Ligonier Street. Since opening our doors in 1953, Hotel Loyal Pizza has proudly served the Lake Trobe area. From pizza, sandwiches, sides, salads, and so much more. Whether you're taking out or dining in, our menu has something for everyone. As if the company here wasn't enough to stop in, try one pie of our highly acclaimed pizza and you're sure to be hooked. Visit our website, hotelloyalpizza.com, or call us at 724-537-3741. And remember to support our 2023 Gridiron Wildcats. Go Cats! Welcome back, folks, to the Wildcats Network the, for the Eaton Park postgame show. Eaton Park is the place for smiles, and for those who don't know, a big part uh, of my childhood, there is a Eaton Park just up the road from here, uh, from Butler High, High School here on Route 8, right next to the Clearview Mall. And uh, I, I know that place like the back of my hand, folks. Uh, Eaton Park is an incredible business, and uh, I really, really recommend the Yins go and uh, try them out there. I can assure you, you will not be disappointed. Wildcats, though, disappointed here, losing 3 nothing to Butler uh, on the road. Wildcats in the first set, some miscommunication and some miscues uh, allowed Butler to walk away with Set number one in their back pocket, 16 to 25. Wildcats would then lead the majority of set number two. And again, not able to shut the door on set number two. Butler would then take that one 26 to 24 after coming back, being down at one point by seven. And then as you can see here in set number three, Butler took the lead early in that in set number three and never looked back. Wildcats tried to rally there at the very end, were saved by a couple penalties by the Golden Tornado, but were not able to overcome, and they drop uh, set number three, 25 to 21 to Butler here in PA. So Butler sweeps uh, three nothing here on the Wildcats Network, and we want to thank all of you guys at home for tuning in. It's for you guys. That's why we do these games, why we go on these road trips, because we know that the folks at Latrobe, Pennsylvania, really deserve uh, the very best and deserve these games. So we really hope that you guys at home all enjoyed it. Our next broadcast here on the Wildcast Network is going to be Tuesday, March 26th. We will be at uh, Gray Latrobe High School where we will be broadcasting you the boys volleyball matchup where the Wildcats will be walking back into the den 0-2. They'll be taking on one of the top teens uh, year in and year out from District 6. That is the West Jamokin Wolves uh, where West Jamokin again is well known for being one of the top teams in District 6. We will have that for Yins here on the Wildcats Network. That will do it 
for today's broadcast for Richard Hillwick, who is on the camera for me uh, this evening. Thank you again, Richard, for all the work that you do here on the Wildcats Network. I'm Tristan Boylan, and I want to send all of you home wishing you guys